Are you filming yet? I've been filming stupid face. <laughs> How much for hell? What about Hey friends, welcome back. I am Jason Salyer and I am making char. Charcoal, activated charcoal, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's not the kind of same kind of stuff, the briquettes that you'd buy in the store that's got lighter fluid infused in it. It's not the same thing. It's just gonna be a very clean version of it. It's basically hardwood like this oak here, cut into small chunks placed into a Dutch oven. Activated charcoal is what we're after because it has lots of medicinal purposes in and sealed off with a lid. Not like airtight sealed. You want the gases to escape because we're gonna put this on the fire and we're gonna burn it. But we're gonna starve it of all of the oxygen so it won't just turn into ash. You wanna make sure you're using some sort of hardwood like oak um, because you don't wanna use any pines or other other types of woods that have resins in them because that is not what we're looking for and you might end up creating something that could be potentially harmful to you. Times are good right now and accessing all of the things in the world that you could possibly need is at, at the touch of a button. It's so easy, it's so simple, we are so spoiled. But there may come a time in the potentially near future when supplies are just not easily accessed anymore. And among those supplies might be medical supplies. And stocking up on things such as activated charcoal to have stockpiled around your house in case you have nausea, upset stomach, uh, accidentally ingest poisons, who knows what you might need that for. It is a very good idea to learn how to make a lot of these things for yourself. Making charcoal is a very simple process. Activated charcoal is super, super cheap. We'll put a link in the description if you wanna buy some. It's really good to have around the house. Um, it is not cheap to make it. It costs a lot of, a lot of time and a lot of effort. It doesn't cost any money per se, but it does take a lot of effort to make it, so get it now while you can. As long as your lid doesn't seal tight on the cast iron skillet, which no cast iron skillets really do, as long as the lid's not sealed, it, there's gonna be enough uh, space in there for the gases to escape. You want the, the gases that are burning off of the char to escape, you just don't want oxygen to be introduced to the system. So you don't have to like put the lid off to the side or anything like that, because then you'd be putting too much air in there. We'll also do a follow-up video on all the many, many uses for activated charcoal. So this can be done in a wilderness setting as well. It doesn't have to be a big cast iron skillet like that. If you want to make a large quantity, you could even do it on a bigger scale if you wanted to, but you could do it in a wilderness setting um, with just any kind of metal container, metal pot. It really doesn't matter. Um, you could also just do it in the ground. If you build a fire um, in a small depression and then pretty much bury it, just bury it with dirt and smother the fire out. And then after it cools off, you just, you'll uncover it and you'll reveal charcoal. It'll be imperfect. There'll be parts of it that are charred a little more than others, but it will still get the job done if you have, you know, let's say, I don't know, let's say you've, you've eaten something that wasn't necessarily edible or your stomach just didn't agree with it. Um, it could definitely be a, a, a remedy for you in that situation. So I already hear it in the comments. I know what you're gonna ask. A lot of you are gonna be curious what this is, this ax that I'm using. This is my favorite little ax. Um, it's an SA Wetterlings, a small little camp ax, forest ax, whatever you'd wanna call it. I don't know if I'll be able to find the link for this one. I'll try. If I can find a link for it, I'll put it in the description, but this is my favorite ax. It's hand forged, it's very imperfect. I just really enjoy using it. So now all we do is just pretty much keep tending the fire, keep it stoked up. It's gonna take several hours. Thank you. So we've, we've got some good char here, but you can see when I took that lid off, it's, there's parts of it that are starting to glow a little. And if we were to leave the lid off, all of this would just be burnt up it would spread that small burning coal would just keep spreading and spreading and spreading until it was all on fire we don't want that we want 
to starve of oxygen so that doesn't happen so we're gonna let that cool um, overnight and then we should have some really good char all right so there's our finished product that has sat overnight it's cooled off and you're left with giant big really nice chunks of activated charcoal so like I was saying before buy it while you can as of now, it's like $20 for a pound of this stuff. And a pound of it is a really big bag because it weighs almost nothing. Um, and it takes a lot of effort to make it yourself. To a tablespoon, doesn't have to be exact. Drop it into the water, stir it up, and then you gulp it down. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Join in for the next video that's gonna show you all the many uses for activated charcoal.